Now, one way to understand um, the war, if you will, between uh, the superego and the, which I've already mentioned to you, the superego and the id um, is really um, what the ego has to resolve. And one of the ways that the ego resolves this war between these two is what we refer to as defense mechanisms. Uh, the primary one that comes with defense mechanisms and is really basic to all of them is repression, which you might uh, find familiar. A lot of times we talk about repressed feelings and so forth, um, and it really underlies uh, all of the defense mechanisms, essentially. And the, the idea behind repression is that it uh, banishes uh, anxiety-producing thoughts and feelings into the unconscious. Uh, thoughts and feelings that create anxiety um, into the unconscious. And that's the underlying motive uh, for repression itself and, for that matter, all the other um, uh, into the unconscious. And so essentially we, Freud's way of thinking was is that when I have a thought that is threatening to my value system and I don't like it, my tendency then is to repress it and to banish it uh, into, uh, the, uh, into the, the unconscious. What you see with this little guy here is uh, uh, also a, a concept that Freud talks about, which is regression. Um, we are confronted with an overwhelming amount of anxiety or uh, feelings or uh, thoughts, memories, situations. What happens with regression is it, it's a retreat uh, basically to earlier stages of development. Uh, one of these, one example which is shown here is this little guy probably is fairly independent uh, under other situations, but in this particular situation, um, uh, let me put this in levels of development, under this particular situation he begins to become quite clingy uh, and regressed. He goes to an earlier level of, of uh, development essentially, and that's what regression is. Um, a, a couple other examples would be reaction formation is another uh, defense mechanism. Uh, and reaction formation uh, by its nature uh, means taking unacceptable impulses uh, and making them to look opposite than what they are. So a new mom who's given birth to a little one and the little one cries incessantly and she can't seem to comfort it, she feels uh, hate. She, fe she feels dislike for this little uh, child, would never want to um, admit that. So it gets translated into uh, the hate and dislike gets translated into an overabundance of, of um, caring behavior, even doting behavior. Um, uh, of uh, loving behavior. Is that bad? Well, no, not necessarily, it, depending how long it tends to continue on after that. But, but it's a, it, the, the key here is taking one emotion that we find unacceptable and turning it into its opposite. Um, another one is projection. Um, I feel strongly about someone else, and I therefore think that they feel the same way about me. So I project uh, feelings onto threatening impulses and feelings onto others. Uh, another one, rationalization. Uh, we engage in this one a lot. Uh, Freud was right on the money with this one in terms of what I've seen and what I've seen even in myself. It, it offers a self-justifying uh, explanation. A self-justifying explanation for um, inappropriate behavior. So for example, um, somebody uh, does something or says something and I slug them in the arm and, 
and uh, with a great deal of, of uh, um, self-justification say, I didn't have, I, if you hadn't said what you said, I wouldn't have had to hit you. Well, that's a rationalization. I don't, I don't have to hit somebody, um, irregardless of what they say. Um, another one, displacement is another uh, uh, defense mechanism, uh, which means diverting impulses into more acceptable ones. Sometimes you see people that are really angry and become really good boxers over the summer. You saw that with kids that were on the streets and, and uh, ch ch channeled their angry energy into boxing. This would be a good example of displacement. Um, the Another one which people don't often talk about is humor. Actually, humor is a healthy uh, defense mechanism, is making light of something I can't control uh, is, is a, I'll just put DM here for, to uh, um, shorten it, defense uh, mech. Uh, there are healthy ones. Not all of them are bad. Not all of them are, are un, uh, inappropriate or anything of the sort. And, that's, and that, those are some key um, examples of, of um, defense mechanisms. Now, what I want to do is turn our attention to some of the uh, uh, proponents, people who followed after Freud and um, um, extended his ideas into the larger arena of psychology.